what's up guys it's badass brown skin back with another video now in this video i'm working with kylie hair um they sent me a 24 inch highlighted lace front curly wig now this wig was super bomb it was a 13 by 4 um lace and it was a hd lace as well it had highlighted streaks all through the wig um the curl pattern was true to what it said it was and also true to length um i had no shedding and no funny smell now this time i actually did a stocking cap method because people was requesting for me to do a stocking cap method so i was like okay i'll go ahead and do one um i did majority of the work off camera i just went ahead and show y'all the foundation process um and yeah that's what that was simple and sweet so we're gonna go ahead and apply this wig down to where we want the lace to lay and i like to have it not too close to my forehead but in a realistic area you know not too close sometimes it'd be too close because my edges be growing but the last glue i used took my edges so i got a little bit of space that's not even funny that's it but whatever so we go ahead and cut one section so we'll have two instead of four i didn't do four this time i don't know why i just went with two so that's what we did we're going in with my regular glue forever ultimate lace glue now I like this glue is thick it's hefty it's sturdy it will keep your wig down for a good amount of time I honestly do recommend this glue a lot of people have uh, complaints to say about it sometimes um, you know up in my comment section I don't got time for all of that I like what works best for me and if you was wondering is this that's why I keep using it anyway it will hold your wig down especially if you mix it with some got to be and I do recommend it and it dries clear so yeah you know only thing is it ain't waterproof so you know do what you will with that information anyway so we're gonna put a thick nice layer down as we did and then I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of got to be now when I did add the got to be it did lift my stocking cap a little bit that's the reason why i be avoiding stocking cap method because that'd be so quick to happen all the time and i hate when that happens it gives me anxiety whatever so we're adding got to be and as i'm drying it i'm just pulling the stocking cap back down because after doing all that work of laying it like why i want to go away like that i don't like that so yeah we're just gonna finesse it pull it back down a little bit try not to drag the foundation product that's another reason it'll make it all messy and i just ugh. It's a pain it really is whatever beauty is pain as they said in the olden days per so we're gonna go ahead and blow dry that down not all the way dry tacky tacky because when you dry it all the way down you're gonna gotta have to go back and add got to be maybe some more gel glue whatever and in the end it's gonna be a lot of product on your lace so you want to keep minimum product on your forehead so you have minimum product on your lace per um that's just from my experience at least so I'm going to go ahead in and measure the lace um, where we want it on our forehead. So measure up the hairlines um, and place them right where we want to. Now, my glue did happen to dry the F out. Not all the way, but I needed some extra juice. So I went in on top, as I usually do, to melt the lace with got to be. I don't really like this process because the product of got to be do be getting on my edges and my new fresh wig and i do get on my nerves but it ain't no other melt like this kind of melt um i'm really telling you the only problem is after we melt it down like this when we cut it up when we cut the lace they try to lift and stuff but y'all know i got a solution for that too Woo! anyway so you want to have fun drying that boom bam be patient with this process it's not as fast as my video is going i just try to make it cute and informational for y'all um in a valuable amount of time because i know i don't got patience and i know it's a lot of people out there who don't got patience just like me boom so that's what we're doing so you want to go in and just add got to be in any areas that look like it's not melted to your skin i like to have my lace soaked to where i can see my skin through it that's how i know it's gonna be melted for real you know what i'm saying but also be careful when you're lifting the lace it can hurt a little bit especially if you got a little hair face my face be a little bit hair not with the hair as you can see but you know the invisible hair is what i want I come from a hairy family, whatever, period. So <laughs> it just is what it is. So um, be careful with that. Don't cut none of your edges. Don't cut none of your eyebrows. You know, the, the usual info I get you. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. So take your time. Be careful. That's the reason why I don't use the razor comb because I done shaved my eyebrows and edges a couple times. Yep. So scissors is what works best. It might look a little crazy cut right now, but we're going to go ahead and clean it up. And then we're going to add edges and then do our little 
tap a tap 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 what it got to be and it's gonna be great it's gonna be great y'all for real so go ahead and cut you some edges i try to keep it basic cute and short you know four areas boom boom bam i like these areas i really do um it just this is how i wear my regular hair i say this all the time i do this is how i wear my regular edges i don't do a whole bunch of edges with my regular hair because i don't got time for that and i don't with my wigs either and i like to keep it natural cute and short per style that's what we did we got four little areas i love my sideburns and i love little swoops right by my eyebrows period if you like that too you know what it is you can fleek yours more you know i be spending a lot of time on my edges and it really gets on my nerves um i seen other methods but i'm going to be working on other methods but I really hate spending so much time on my edges because if the wig bomb, the wig is bomb. You know what I'm saying? I know how to lay it per. But shortcut, cut the hair short. So cut the edges hair short so they won't be like pulling and stuff when you are curling them. I've also seen people curling their edges um, and use a razor comb. There's a lot of other methods. I will work on them in the future. But for the time being, y'all know I'll be on the go, period. Boom, boom, bam. We pop back. And this is the finished result. So, um, you know, I added a little bit of water to the hair and that was about it. I think I added a little bit of mousse. Yeah, mousse and water. And yeah, the hair is bomb, bouncy, and moves so pretty. Um, the edges are really pretty and it all just came out really bomb. So to fix that little white, we just add a little bit of foundation, period. And boom, it's all fixed and ready to go. So I do recommend this wig to any beginners and... Um, I recommend this wig honestly to anybody that's looking for a cute fun summer wig this curl pattern is really bomb the hair is not dry it's true to length it's very luxurious bouncy shiny okay like and i feel like you could blow dry this out and straighten it like you could do a lot with this hair just be from the texture like it's not that y'all know them textures you can press it and blow dry as many times and it's not gonna go nowhere yeah it's not that kind like you can work with this hair so i do recommend this wig um for the spring or summer um that's coming up and i think it will go great for the new environment we're gonna step into it's not like we switch planets but it is a different season and i love the season changes and i think this one is perfect for summer i wish i had it when i was in miami this is really bomb i think it's super cute and i do recommend this to y'all if y'all have any more information on this wig i will have it down in the description box below this is a 24 inch highlighted curly lace front wig hd lace um 13 by 4 and it is super bomb um yes y'all <laughs> i have a couple clips in here if y'all ain't seen in the beginning that's super bomb it's just bomb and move and you can style it any kind of way it's so soft like it don't tangle girl you can run your fingers through it and you know y'all know i stay with the middle part because like that's my go-to you know style whatever but you can really rock this anyway and i recommend you trying it out so period point bank i'll be back with another video soon thank y'all for watching better brown skin out She love what I'm doing. She said, Do you remember me? You was a friend to me. We stopped. Okay, okay.